Everyone in a bustling Chinese parade is attempting to elude pursuers. Newly discovered cave paintings suggest early man was battling a lot of inner demons. And a xylophonist is shredding it. Well, 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 if it isn't the usual suspects clamoring for their weekly allotment of news summaries. This is The Onion Week in Review. A new report released today by the CDC found that as many as 14% of Americans are now intolerant to the word gluten. CDC officials advised Americans with a predisposition to such allergies to ensure they were never in the vicinity of individuals who use the phrases gluten sensitivity, gluten-free diet, or even wheat intolerance. This Tuesday, FBI officials disclosed details of a disturbing Al-Qaeda plot to just kick back, relax, and savor the inevitable collapse of the United States. Intelligence agencies confirmed the massive, coordinated plan involves terrorist cells across the globe, training specifically to take a load off and unwind as America's political infighting, class divides, moral indolence, and environmental self-destruction gradually tear the nation apart. Our righteous warriors will devote our time to relax and really soaking in the infidel self-destruction. America's cities will be reduced to ruins. The economy will come to a standstill. And we, the blessed of Islam, will kick back, put our feet up, and enjoy the show. It's going to be great. Reflecting on the persistent troubles it caused his sibling during childhood, local doctor Daniel Barrett told reporters this week about his average-looking brother, Kevin, who first inspired him to be a cosmetic surgeon. As a kid, I remembered thinking that there was nothing I could do for Kevin. Watching someone you really love and care about suffer from a weak jawline or unsymmetrical features it had a major impact on me. And in this week's local news, a community theater gives the part of Blanche Dubois to Kathy fucking Hamilton. In other news, a moviegoer manages to sneak candy past a teenage usher earning $7 an hour. A new app matches you with others in the vicinity who wasted $2.99 on the same app. And a Roman centurion crawling out of a New York City manhole cover is in for one wacky adventure. Having graciously spread my knowledge to the uneducated masses, I now return to the stately, elegant ranks of news announcer society. For more, keep checking theonion.com.